previously in Breaking Point. Aiden, please tell us, how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your very first race? I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes. And tell me about Casper Ackerman. How is that relationship coming along? It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? He tried to stop them from signing you. Didn't want to play babysitter. We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. I had a call this morning from Christian Horner. You're being watched. You know what his problem is, don't you? Thinks you're getting too old. You want respect, you give respect! That's how it works! How about you give me a little respect? How about you earn it first? I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Why didn't it work out between you two? He's on more money than me. What? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? And you thought I was past my best. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, there's been one man at the center of it all. I want us to push for fourth. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. So Alfa Romeo potentially on track to really upset Alfa Tauri here. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. Down the inside he goes, and they hit each other. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty. Go to third, eight. What about Casper? We let Aiden pass. Let Aiden pass. We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash? Butler's OK. Bruised ego, perhaps. <laughs> Breaking point two. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, welcome back to another video. To today, we are going to be playing some F one twenty three. The game just came out. It's been an hour since it came out. I got some practice in, but yeah, I think next video I'm gonna try to set up my webcam because it's gonna be better for videos like this. But let's advance to the Miami Grand Prix in twenty twenty two. What was it like bringing a brand new team to the F one grid? You know, the first time you see a car, your car, with your branding, your name on it, in an official race, alongside Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, that's what it's all about. You make it sound like a dream come true. If only. <laughs> when did you first get a sense of what was in store for Connor Sport? 2022 season, <clears throat> straight out of the box. The drivers were always going to clash. That was a calculated risk. But the car, mm, the car, the car had problems. We're midway through the Miami Grand Prix. It's been a cracking race so far, and it's all up for grabs. Absolutely, Crofty. Some fantastic driving here today, especially, I have to say, from Aidan Jackson. I don't think I've ever seen the Connor Sport car being put through its paces quite like this. This is a team, Connor Sport, that have got a lot to prove this season, but Jackson might just be the man to do it. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Primary objective, finish the race. Okay, Aidan, nice job so far. Let's try and bring that gap down to the car ahead if you can. Copy that. Use your overtake button more. It's time to utilize some of this energy. Come on. Nice overtake on Sonoda, but he's gonna come back at us. To our side, he's not got enough speed. Oh, a bit over the curbs. We lose the rear end. Let me. Oh, can we go for the double overtake? Yes, we do. But a lot of wheel spin at the back. And a bit of contact. 
down the inside of Norris and we get a nice clean overtake as Ocon comes right out of the pits blocking Bottas. Can we get a one on Bottas right here? Down the inside we go. Yes we can. Overtake on Ocon, let's see. Gonna swerve, okay, no problem. And we got his inside outside. Oh, he's gonna come back at us. Oh, there was contact. Well, crap. Nice work, mate. I'm still not used to this. This feels so weird. I got a DS5 controller, right? And the uh, adaptive triggers, right? They feel so weird to use. Okay, back straight once again, Hamilton with DRS will simply just pass down his inside. Oh! He's gonna fight back? No, he won't. DRS once again on to Gasly, he's back! No ERS this time, and it's gonna be a clean overtake, but is he gonna fight back? No, he won't. He won't have the chance to fight back. Chance from Perez, okay. Oh! No! As the car comes to a halt, the Connor Sports Aiden Jackson won't be seeing the checkered flag today. But it looks like his teammate will. Jackson's DNF puts Devon Butler in a position where he might just be able to secure some points for Connor Sports. Aiden's out. Yep, engine problem, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good job you got me. All right, Devon, don't push it too hard. We cannot risk losing both cars here. It's in the bag, mate. All okay, Aiden. Uh, how's Devon doing? Yeah, he's doing alright, mate. He looks like he's gonna bring home some points for the team. Good for him. Post race. Okay, let's see what happens at the team conference. I haven't watched a single YouTuber video, so I'm completely free of spoilers on this, and I'm very excited, man. It's not one thing, then it's another. Did you not see what happened out there today? Aiden, I agree with you 100%. We are doing everything we can. I know the car is not perfect, but... Andreo, it's every race. Do you know how I look losing easy points like this? Knock, knock. <laughs> Sounds like there's a right show going on in here. What am I missing? Not now, Devon. Aiden and I were just discussing issues with the car. Again? I thought that was all in hand. I had no problems today. Smooth. You know what they say. A shoddy workman always blames his tools. <laughs> mate, 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 mate. You can look at my setup data any time you want. I told you that. It might help. And I've told you before. It's not a setup issue. The problem is... Jackson. <laughs> What's the problem with the 2022 season? Ask anyone. I mean, at the end of 21, everyone thought Aiden was going to be signed by one of the big three. But uh, I guess they couldn't reach an agreement, so we both signed for Connor Sports. And do you think that affected Aiden? <laughs> That's no secret. Now, for that 22 season, Jackson was a nightmare. Emails, phone calls, news in the hub. Performance and repetition. Performance, repetition. We have actions. Okay, let's see what we have before we stop this episode. 
I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bushel. Put in Jackson. Put that car. Jackson should be put in the car. The car in reverse. Devon. Such a great season. Oh, let me accept the call. Fine, um, but I, I don't think it will tell me anything I don't already know. Just humor me, okay? I'd like to go through it. Let me know if anything jumps out. I'm keen to iron out these problems as quickly as possible to Sure thing. Thanks, Andrea. No thanks needed. I've got your back, Abe. Remember what I said when you joined the team. I won't let you down. Ackerman wouldn't let me hear the end of it. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Casper. You know, he told me the same, right? It's just, it's just tricky. What with the car and Devin poking his nose in any chance he gets. There is a lot going on for sure, but we're a team. We'll get there. I'll have a word with the Devin. Tell him to give you some space, both on and off the track. Okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. Good luck with that. Okay, that was an interesting phone call. And it seems apparently Devon's dad owns this team, Butler Global Racing Team. Okay team, I appreciate how hard everyone is working, we are getting so much right. And I also understand how infuriating it can be for everyone when the problem persists and simply won't go away. Rest assured, both myself and the management team are acutely aware of the continuing issues with the car and will be enacting a plan to address all of them as quickly as possible. Getting the car up to optimal purposes and alleviating everyone's stress levels in the process is our top priority. I'll be in touch with each department separately so we can formulate a unified strategy. We'll get there. Thank you again for all your patience and hard work, Andrew. Thank you to all. I appreciate this as a good person. But believe me when I'm saying I'm talking to each of you individually, thank you. You're proud of well, whatever. We got DNF. All history cinematics. So that's about it. That's what all we have. But then again, this will be enough for this episode. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, guys. I'll see you in the next video. See ya!